Welcome to day 29 of my vlog. This drink is called Bark in My Mouth. <laughs> and I haven't even started vlogging for the day because quite honestly I'm exhausted waking up on a deflated air mattress so basically I'm sleeping on the floor it's been so hard on my 41 year old body I'm just tired I feel like crap I was supposed to go to the video machine but I was messaging on Facebook Messenger with the girl that is looking to buy it. And she said that she was also off Tuesday afternoon. And so we just switched me going to the vending machine until Tuesday. Which is great because I went to sleep at like midnight. Putting up the last vlog from yesterday. And yeah, and then I didn't have a great night's sleep. And I didn't eat dinner last night because I was so full from lunch, but then I was starving this morning. Anyway, long story short, it's been one heck of a morning. I blew my hair out last night and everything because I thought I was going to have to wake up really early this morning to go to Charlotte. But, I mean, luckily it's, it's already blown out for the day. That's kind of nice. I've already started packing a little bit. I've gotten like three boxes in. It's hard to pack too much because I'm not moving till Thursday and it's Saturday so I need to have some stuff to cook with and to eat out of and eat with and all of those things for the next couple of days I don't want to eat out too many times I'm pretty sure that last day is just going to be really hard pack everything up and eat out on Wednesday I'm trying to do my best but I um, threw some laundry in the wash We've already had breakfast and all of those things. Now it's down to getting myself pulled together for the day so we can get the heck up out of here. Today is that Barbie thing and I still haven't decided what the heck I'm going to put Scout in. But since I'm not going to Charlotte, I think it'll be so much fun. I think I might feel better once I get myself together and get out of here. So we're going to find a fabric store. And we're going to find some inspiration and we're going to pull something together for the day. Good morning and welcome to day 30 of being laid off. I am together finally. You okay, babe? And I am off to Joanne's Fabrics. We're going to make a little doggy costume. A Barbie costume for my doggie to wear to this little event since we're in town. I'm feeling a little bit better now that I got myself together and got out to the car. Scout's in the back seat. She's along for the ride. I don't know if she can go into Joanne's Fabrics. But it's not hot outside, so she gets in the car for a few minutes while I run inside. I know exactly what I'm looking for. I already have inspiration. I'll have to put a pick up here because. You guys will see the final product at the end of this vlog today. We are off to Joanne's Fabrics. It's kind of overcast today, so hopefully it doesn't rain and this event doesn't get like canceled. Because regardless, if I'm spending the money and the time to make this, she gonna wear it, okay? She is gonna wear it. And I'm not a professional. I don't have a sewing machine or anything. I'm going to have to hand sew this together. But I am so excited. We're doing, actually, I can tell you guys what we're doing. We are doing Barbie, Holiday Barbie 1990. Google that. That's exactly what we're doing. And there will be a picture in here. Are you ready? You want to come into Joanne's Fabrics with your mommy? Let's do it, girl. Okay, we secured the goods for the Barbie stuff. We're done with Joann's. We're on our way home. Fabric secured. I have no idea what I'm doing. And I, I mean, I know what the outcome I want it to be, but the, in between the process, I don't know. Because the lady was saying I would need some kind of under fabric to sew the like tool to, because the tool sewing it to itself probably wouldn't stay. Just because of all the little like holes, it's kind of like a net, finely mesh net. I couldn't find fabric that matched 
the the tool so we just we went with a pink and it's like a hot pink and then we got like a darker pink it's a little bit chaotic but because it's gonna be underneath maybe you can't see it but I wanted something that was lightweight like the underneath fabric I wanted it to be kind of stretchy lightweight so we went with like some kind of lycra material it's very stretchy but because of that I couldn't find the exact color that I needed like a match to the tool but we're gonna make it do what it do baby Okay, here she is in all her glory. It's not perfect. It's a little lopsided, but we we got the pink on. And we have this wig. Let's see if she'll let me put this on for a quick video. And then we can snap a couple pictures with it. You're so beautiful. Oh my God. Going to this event with Scout was any indication of how she would be treated or how anyone would be treated if you're famous going out in regular everyday scenarios like no thank you my little girl was mobbed <laughs> we are tired she ate so much popcorn that people had dumped all over the ground she got sick and threw up we have so many pictures i'll have to insert a bunch here and i'm bad like the barbie i'm a doll but i still want to so you guys can see because she is so cute and we have some pictures together that people um took of us so that was really nice of them but we we're done we are done i want to go to trader joe's get a pizza go cook put on my pajamas clean up from sewing this hot mess of a dress and get to editing this vlog and go to sleep okay today was too chaotic this is my girl dinner. girl dinner. It's Trader Joe's garlic pesto pizza. You have to go and grab it. And it has a deep fried crust. Oh my gosh. It's divine. I'm sitting in bed. Scout's laying on the clean clothes with her clean body because she got a bath this morning. We've already started packing. Everything is so much chaos and I'm so ready to leave this place. Y'all, when I was making that little outfit for Scout earlier for this Barbie thing, I lost a sewing needle somewhere. Like I literally don't know why I didn't lay it down, but I had it in my hand and then I went to go pump up my air mattress again. So I do that like every 30 minutes. And then I got back over here to sit down to start sewing again, like thread the needle. And I freaking don't know where it went. So hopefully I can find it and no one gets hurt. I ended up having a second little sewing kit, so I had another needle, thank goodness. But I would love to find the lost one before anyone gets hurt. And I keep looking. Every time I get up, walk around, I'm looking. I've had my flashlight on all the things i feel like i might come across it when i'm sleeping tonight i have no idea if it's in the bed on the floor i really honestly don't know where it's at but i'm gonna enjoy my pizza so i will probably talk to you guys tomorrow